Timing isn't everything, but hitting on a woman when she's getting married just doesn't sound like a great idea. In the right kind of wrong, Leo is a down and out writer who has been devastated. His wife has written a blog about all of his problems and it's become a huge social hit. Then one day he sees her, the new woman of his dreams. His passions are reignited, but it's the day she's getting married. Against all common sense, Leo just goes after this woman who has him spellbound and he might just become a better man in the process. The success of his ex-wife's blog has become a real bitter pill for Leo to swallow. He is a shadow of his former self. Then he sees this goddess, this vision that stirs his soul and he pursues her no matter what. Ignoring the advice of his friends, the threats from the groom's friends, and the bride's continuing rejection, he is relentless in his pursuit. He just wants her to open her eyes and see that they belong together. Now, his attempts are not stranger danger. There's no paneled vans. He's charming, he's witty, and he's sweet. Even the bride's mother thinks he has a shot at this. Will he win over the woman of his dreams and what exactly will become of him through this process. This is an original romantic comedy that you just have to see. Leo starts off as a loser character we could easily not care about, but Ryan Quanton's performance gives him charm, gives him wit, and a sense of wonder that pulls us on Leo's side. Sarah Cannon comes in as the bride and she is gorgeous, but this is a strong, eclectic character that really stands out in this genre. She is a benefit to this film. The supporting cast just brings so much life and fun, humor, and a bit of drama to this film through their interactions. There's going to be different times you're going to be laughing, you're going to have different favorites here and there, but the Alaskan countryside where they film this is always going to be in your top 10. It's beautiful and it lends a sense of magic to Leo's quest. The humor here isn't slapstick, it's not satire, it remains firmly in romantic comedy and it's always excellent. When I pressed play on The Right Kind of Wrong, I felt like I was taking a chance, but that chance paid off. This is a wonderful romantic comedy with a refreshing take on love. Leo is a lovable fool and you will get behind him on his mission to pull off the impossible. This film also showed me what I was doing wrong. No more singles bars and dance clubs. No, 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 no. I need to start crashing weddings and macking on brides. That is not going to end well.